Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, S&P 500 E-mini futures daily chart. And we had a test and a break yesterday at the blue line there, the nine-day um, exponential moving average. But bulls brought it right back, brought it back above, and we end up closing exactly where we closed on Friday, which is at 39 quarter. So we remain overbought based upon the 45 day pivot but at the same time we've been churning up here now going on eight sessions and the overbought condition may be keeping a cap so to speak on the upside for the moment but the fact that the numbers stay inflated I'm beginning to think and a lot of my work this weekend was on why are we up here why, why are we over the 45 day pivot and why is it so sustained I think it's really I think it's a byproduct of the deep low and the violent move off of it I mean we're stuck with that 1813 low and that's why I always say you know a pivot any particular pivot is just one tool in a very large toolbox and what we've been doing in the room is we've been long and we've been short we're trading this stuff we're we're not you know we're, we're not making any big bets up here um, and I think that you need to be doing the same this is a time you know I said last week and I said in the webinar on Thursday you know this is a time to be cautious if you are long you need to be taking profits up here um, and looking to add back on these dips we dipped yesterday we did 25 quarter we tested that 2675 double bottom from last week and the bulls had a chance to take it out and head lower but they couldn't do it so um, at the same time on the short side every time we get above 37 39 you can sell that and you can cover it for you know a solid you know four four to five handles every time out um, at least that's how it's played for the last four or five sessions so it's definitely a market to be trading it's a market to not be greedy and what I mean not be greedy I mean make your trade make your handles get out of your trade don't say okay this last trip up to 39 this is it so that's it I'm a bear I am short I am a hold and that's it that's not the way to handle this because we have floated up here for too long and a break over 4344 targets the upper band and you have to respect that at the same time if you're along you can't say well the Bears can't do anything so I don't care if we're on the highs I'm loading up right here well I'd be careful with that because 4344 is a pretty big area every one of these moves has has brought us down at least a little bit and if the Russell is any indication although it's bouncing a little bit this morning if the Russell is any indication it looks like we're gonna break the nine and the Russell's been leading this whole way that we're gonna break the nine and probably go down and test middle band so where would a middle band test occur on the mini this moving average is a moving average it is shedding these lower prices all the time as it does that its rate of ascent is going to increase we still have the floor at 20 to 21 my inclination is that the test will be at 20 to 21 and could potentially also be a test in the middle band at the same time and you know churning these prices up here does nothing to resolve that so we're in this 25 to 43 type trading range so far and until somebody breaks out hard above or breaks hard below that range uh, you need to just be you know be trading it taking your profits and then looking for the next trade all right everybody have a fantastic day follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader check out the website princetontrader.com come check out the chat room I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well.